Right guys, I thought I'd do a bit of a quick update video regarding the really poor way I decided to explain how these sort of knurling bits of AIO pin things fit onto an AM4 bracket. So I'm going to try and do this the easy way and try and show you using a board itself. So these aren't exactly AM4 pins to be quite fair, these are designed for LGA pins these. So they do fit but not slightly and uh, slightly as far as I would like, but it still does the job to prove a point. So <clears throat> what we're going to be using is an Aorus B450 Elite motherboard. And we're going to take off the AM4 screw back plate and then just leave the actual back plate on. And we'll sort of go from there really. <clears throat> right, here we go. First of all, we're going to have to remove these, which are the standard AM4 brackets that come with AMD motherboard. So let's get these off first. Ooh, don't break anything. God, one of these days, I'm, I'm surprised my, even myself I've not dis damaged anything. But well, here we go. Let's get that screw off. Come here and take this one off here <coughs> excuse me right there we go that's them done now what you're left with are these four post holes which is part of that your bracket which simply sits at the back of your motherboard Hold your AIO cooler in place or your, or your cooler in place or whatever bracket you have there. Now, granted, these won't really screw all the way in. You're going to focus in? You're going to focus? Uh, you ch oh, there we go. Got one long end and one short end. These are for LGA. They're not really designed for AMD, but it should suffice to do the demonstration. So, let's put one in, like so. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to get rather close up on this. Oh, there we go. Now, you might not be able to see, but get the screwdriver. Right there is the actual protruding end of the back plate. Now, if we ignore this threading here, right at the bottom, that is to put this knurled bit here is supposed to fit flush with that bit right there. Now, even with that bit flush, you can see there is quite a bit of protruding still from the back plate. <clears throat> now, when that back plate is on, you'll have all four screwed in but that still doesn't stop your bracket dropping granted it won't drop nearly as dramatic as that but it's going to drop by a few mil even with your cooler that's on and screwed on to these protruding ends right here the problem is if you haven't got enough paste, oh, that's just sticky tape there. If you haven't got enough paste on there, <clears throat> or the fact that your paste starts to dry out, the only thing your CPU is going to do is when it's on, is it's going to lose its stickiness and it's going to drop. Which means these four pins are also going to drop. So, yeah, not the best way of attaching that to that. <clears throat> but these weren't really the best screws to use, because these are designed for LGA, so we'll take them out. And we'll just put these back on. Just so I don't lose anything. But that is basically the gist of it. Even with the little bolts that are attached to the back plate, 
you still got a good few millimeters of clearance between that knurled part and the bit that's attached to the motherboard so CPU uh, support bracket which isn't the best but as mentioned in the previous video my only way around that was to basically get some cable ties cut them right back and that's what slide them over the bits that stick out and that was my only way of doing it so back to the main cam and we'll summarize okay now back to the main cam now that was basically a brief introduction of what this issue can be i mean deepcool may have fixed this issue before i even did my videos but even so when i explained this to them over the email i still got the same sort of response you know a, a diagram sent by email which is the same diagram that's on the instruction manual that comes with the cooler so even you are using if you've got good contacts on thermal paste you are going to get quite a lot of adhesion on there and it's going to stick but when that starts to wear off and if you haven't applied enough the only place that cpu cooler is going to go and it's going to drop at an angle meaning you're going to have less contact on your cpu which means your temperature is going to skyrocket nobody wants well, nobody wants your CPU to overheat because you've got two options. Your PC is either going to shut down because it's too hot. Or if it doesn't shut down, your CPU is basically going to cook itself and you're going to have a dead CPU. Regardless of it being the cheapest AMD CPU or even the top end Ryzen 9 or even the new Ryzen 5 5600X. That's a lot of money to lose. Thanks, Biscuit, for wobbling the camera. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm going to call it there. That was basically just like a quick demonstration of what these brackets are like. And hopefully, if you've encountered the same, you can probably follow the same situation that I did by putting really thin cable ties around them posts just to give the knurled bracket support a bit of a bit of bite, something to press up against which will hold that CPU tray and support bracket in place. So thank you for watching and if you like this video then you can please give it a thumbs up, if not give it a thumbs down, it all helps with the analytics. If you like these videos and want to see more that this channel produces then please feel free to hit the subscribe button where you'll be notified of any future uploads that this channel produces, which there will be quite a you, I'm thinking. Don't forget that EDT is also on all three social media platforms. You can get Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, although Twitter isn't really used apart from an advertisement. But the main features are on Instagram and Facebook. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you all on the next video. If you have any comments or inquiries, or anything you'd like to add that will make this channel even better, then please leave it in the comment box below, and I will reply to it as soon as I can. Enough waffling, I'm going to do some washing up. Take care, and goodbye for now.